All right. So yeah, Nike Head, what's up, buddy? Yeah, so uh, I sent the uh, video over to Nike Head uh, already because I happen to have his uh, number in my cell phone. And uh, yeah, Brian said it was pretty cool. They they announced him. His brother was able to catch for him. So uh, Brian, you know, went up, announced his name. They had to wear Topps t-shirts, which I'm sure uh, Brian wasn't a big fan of. But, you know, Topps does do some awesome stuff. So, uh, but anyhow, I told him, I had suggested, I said, Brian, what if you, you, what if you threw on a Panini shirt underneath the Topps shirt and just while on the mound, stripped the Topps shirt off, and repped the Panini shirt. I'm sure Tops wouldn't mind. I don't know, but uh, yeah, good to see everybody up in it here. Uh, immaculate college or collegiate football five box master case break number four plus national gear untees. So who do we got here? We got R. Lamb, Evan, Foxberger, A. E. Beich, Venus, K. Spec, O. One, Double Cow, Fifty Five. Venus, screen name, Lee Man. Good to see you up in it. The Seahawks, all right. Gallant, Mike, Floydtown, Iceman, Outlander, XXC, Bratton23, Charlie122222222222222222222222222222222222222222222222222222222222222222222222222222222222222222222222222222222222222222222222222222222222222222222222222222222222222222222222222222222222222222222222222222222222222222222222222222222222222222222222222222222222222222222222222222222222222222222222
Will he play? I haven't heard any updates, but him and Zeke both, man. I don't I don't know if we'll see him. So throws uh, the fantasy picks for quite the uh, quite the loop there. But uh, this one's out of ninety nine. So going over to the Chargers. And that is AJ Diaz. And let me get my collegiate roster here, too. All right. Then we got Drew Luck. Or Drew Luck, I'm sorry. Yeah, Drew Luck. Or Drew Luck would be Andrew Luck's uh, younger brother. But this is Drew Luck. And it's going over to the Broncos. And that's out of 99. Nice big old patch there. Over to the Bronx. And then, there's this guy. That's Ed Oliver going over to the Buffalo Bills. And that's an auto out of 99. And yeah, he, he did. He stayed, on the, he stayed on the sticker. Good, good, good. I always look for that. So, Ed Oliver, I, according to my Bleacher Report, now I didn't watch any Buffalo Bills preseason stuff, but uh, he uh, apparently was graded pretty well. I guess he looks good. So, so we'll take that for a Bills hit. And uh, the Bills, who's got those guys? That's going to Charlie, one, two, 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 two. And then there's TJ Hawkinson. That's going over the Detroit Lions. Nice little two color patch auto out of 25. So the Lions with, uh, let's see, that's Gallant Mike. Yeah, not badly, man. When when Brian told me to send out the uh, the alert uh, that there were still spots up or whatever, he's like, put in there that I threw a perfect strike. And so, you know, again, debatable. I'm not sure. I mean, I'm trying to watch his brother. If his brother has to come up out of his stance much, I don't know. But how about a Marquise Brown with a, uh, we got a, uh, uh, a letter patch there. So out of 25, going over to the Ravens. And that is Floyd Town. So Marquise Brown. So we'll see. Now, as a Ravens receiver with speed, I hope not to see anything out of this guy, but I'm sure Floyd Town would hope differently for eBay selling purposes. All right. So then how about a Miles Boykin? And Miles is going over to the Ravens as well. Whoop, there we go. Over to the Ravens as well. That's 13 out of 92 with a little glove. Uh, Little glove insert there. So out of 92. So that's box number one. That went over to the Ravens. But yeah, so Brian Brian said that he basically blacked out once he actually went onto the field and got up on the mound. He says he doesn't really remember throwing the pitch or anything, anything else for that matter. I probably would have done the same thing. I don't know if I've ever been in front of that many people at one time. On stage basically so yeah I'd say the most people watching me at one time aside from maybe like high school baseball or something like that was uh, oh, I just saw we've got fresh spots up for box number eight on baseball I don't think that's supposed to have happened Might need to run over there and fix that. All right, so Sony Michelle for the Georgia Bulldogs. That's out of 49. That's going over to the Pats. Or maybe we'll do an eighth box today. You guys think you can fill an eighth box for baseball? I'll tell you what. I built some of this Ultimate 8 baseball stuff. It's got some extra hits thrown in it. There's some extra stuff that Brian's going to be throwing in. So maybe, uh, maybe we can really encourage some people to... Uh, to jump in that. So out of 49 over to the Pats, that's Sony Michelle. And then Dwayne Haskins. This one's 88 out of 98, so there's a glove insert there. For the Redskins. And that one is Venus. So Venus with the Haskins, nice glove patch there. And then Irv Smith Jr. over to the Minnesota Vikings, so 12 out of 99. 
big old giant patch and then a Danny Werfel Tim Tebow so the Florida quarterback duel auto Danny Werfel Tim, Tim Tebow who I think is now on the disabled list for the Mets minor league team so uh, H house what's going on buddy and Iceman good to see you in here too so uh, Danny Werfel, Tim Tebow. So this is going wherever Danny Werfel last played. So if we can figure that out real quick, uh, yeah, we'll know where, where this is headed. Sometimes Siri knows, so we wanna, maybe we could try Siri. Hey Siri, where did Danny Werfel last play football? Which team? Oh, Chicago boy. Bears, Green oh. Bay Packers. Oh boy, oh boy, she's giving me all kinds of options. So we'll figure out that one, but that's a pretty cool card. Anytime you get a Tebow, Obviously, you like that. So out of 25, over to somebody. Not sure who yet. So Bryce Love. So that is, let's see here. That's the Washington Redskins. And so that's back over to Venus. A nice little bowl patch, I assume, in there. And then the last card. There's A.J. Brown. So that one's going over to the Titans, I believe, right? Yeah, so Tennessee Titans. And that is A. Miller Go Blue. So A.J. Brown expected some good things, hopefully out of A.J. Brown, if Mariota can do some stuff. Although this is Mariota's year to try to prove himself here. I don't think he's he's shown enough up to this point. So, so we'll see. There's... Couple of those quarterbacks, Jameis Winston's in that situation too, I feel like, so uh, hopefully those guys do something this year. So yeah, the last box of uh, Ultimate Eight Baseball now is up, number eight. Brian just said, hey, let's get that one knocked out. So Ultimate Eight Baseball box number eight now will be, uh, will be up. So H House, hopefully you're, uh, it was a H House, it was really nice meeting your uh, your son. Again, I'd, I'd met your your older son, but uh, to get to meet your younger son, who's who's like a, a miniature version of you was really, really awesome. And I swear, and you probably wouldn't condone this, but I swear that kid would be like a YouTube sensation. If he had his own YouTube channel, oh my gosh. I mean, it, it's game over. Forget the uh, the kid who's like a multi-millionaire, some little kid named Ryan who my kids watch. You throw H House's kid in there, man. It's all over. He's taking over the whole thing. So Antonio Brown, what kind of helmets he got on here? That's that's the question. Is this one of these helmets he likes? So Antonio Brown over to the Raiders, and that is A E Beich, A E Beich. So. That one's out of 99, Antonio Brown. Then we've got a Lamar Jackson, a short print out of 10, so a two color patch. This going over to the Ravens. And who's got the Ravens here? Oh boy. All right, so that's Floyd Town with the Lamar Jackson out of 10. And then Clayton Thorson. One of these jumbo jersey cards. So this is out of 99. That'll be going over to the Philadelphia Eagles and me, Taylor, 216. He was cheering us in the break. Let's go, Timmy. Werfel to the skins, AJ Diaz says. Okay, that sounds right. I mean, Siri did bring up the Redskins, among others, but uh, I'll go with that. And if that were the case, that's going to Venus Beach. All right, and how about this guy? Me as a Browns fan may be the only one to get excited, but uh, I like Greedy. 46 out of 99. Going over to the Browns. And that's Go Blue, 78. So there we are with a Greedy. And then Dexter Williams. And this one I don't know, so I gotta go to my list here. Where's old Dex? Dexter Williams, a Green Bay Packer. So 13 out of 25. Nice little three color jersey. So 
So over to the Packers and Iceman, 38714. All right, H-House, yeah, yeah, if you could get it, if you could get on that, let me know what the YouTube channels, uh, you know, give me a link and we're, we're in, we're in. Paris Campbell, the most, gosh, that kid had such an awesome personality, he really did. 24 out of 25, Paris Campbell. And that one's going over to the Colts. And Bratton, 23. So, uh, yeah, busy day today. So getting back, trying to get settled in, my daughter started cheerleading. So there's Devin Singletary. I believe this is the Bills. Is that right? Yeah, Buffalo Bills. Nice glove in there. So out of 60, 29 out of 60. So my daughter started cheerleading, which I never really thought we'd do. You know, she was doing gymnastics and theater and some other stuff. Well, with gymnastics, all her friends basically did cheerlead. So they're like, oh, well, why don't you cheerlead? Well, so the next thing you know, she's wanting to cheerlead. So I had to go to their first game today, which obviously I'm watching my daughter, but I can't help to, but to watch uh, these little guys play football too, these fourth graders. But the team, all right, and this is my hometown. I grew up going to this this school and everything else. And man, we were always dominant in like Pee Wee and all the way into high school. And the, the high school team, even after I graduated, was always dominant like in the state and stuff. Well, anyway, and now the high school team is garbage, I feel, it, at least last year. Well, this little fourth grade team, gosh, I wanted to go on the field so bad and just just get right up in their face mask because, and, and that might be me being a jerk, I don't know, but was really, uh, gosh, the arm tackles, the mental errors, the offsides penalty, or the false starts and offside penalties, unreal. So there's Joe Namath out of 99. Imagine that's going over to the Jets, and so that's Iceman. With a Joe Namath. But yeah, these kids weren't wrapping up or anything. This kid from the other team was just sweeping around the end every time, and it was almost like they'd see how many times they could just slap, like slap the kid's shoulder pads, thinking maybe it might knock him over, but it didn't. And it was my poor daughter who thinks that they lost, like her team, her cheerleading squad lost because the football team lost. So I was like, no, 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 no. Nope, you didn't lose anything. There's 18 out of 40, Jarrett Stidham. So this one's going over to the Pats. And that's Evan. And there's some eBay hype behind this guy, I just recently noticed. So people getting pumped maybe about the possibility of him playing down the road. I don't know. But look at this. How about this glove insert? So 46 out of 72, Terry McLaurin. This is going over the Redskins. And so that'll be Venus. He's a, he's a little Seth Rogen, yep. Dra uh, yes, Nike head, it did. Gosh, it was driving me crazy. I did, I never in my life wanted to go out there more. And I know they're only fourth grade kids, I get it. And it doesn't really matter. But, gosh, if they don't get on top of the mental errors. Plus, I gotta sit through like 10 games of this stuff. 79 out of 99. And for any of you who like, you know, grew up in your hometown, still live there, anything like that, or go back to your hometown and never caught a game, like there's a sense of pride there's AJ Brown and DK Metcalf, so that's going over to the Titans there. So that's 79 out of 99 over to the Titans. There's a sense of pride for like your hometown, even even now I know, like even when we're talking like Pee Wee stuff, you know. And I just I couldn't help but to get kind of worked up. Although I I wasn't the guy saying stuff or yelling stuff, obviously I don't. But uh, gosh, yeah, my wife heard it from me though. I was whispering to her like, gosh, this is terrible. Anthony Ratliff Williams. So this is another Titans hit. So this one's going over to A Miller Go Blue as well. This one's out of 25, 18 out of 25, 18 out of 25. Anthony Ratliff Williams. A nice little rookie auto there. And then there's Terry Godwin, the second. 59 out of 99. So Terry Godwin's going over to the Carolina Panthers with a young, fresh, good as new Cam Newton. Does anybody does, does anybody believe that? 
Maybe. Terry Godwin. All right, so going over to the Panthers, and that would be... Who's got the Panthers here tonight? Ah, screen name. Very original screen name. So Josh Jacobs, 16 out of 99. Anybody watching Hard Knocks with the Raiders? 16 out of 99. The first episode was kind of... Eh, I don't know. Coming off of a Browns year, though. So Josh Jacobs out of 99. That's going over to the Oakland Raiders. But yeah, it just didn't seem like... Uh, I mean, they got all this stuff going on with Antonio Brown with the feet. Now the helmet. Now... And then, uh, who is that? Uh, Jonathan Abrams, is that it? The safety for uh, the Raiders, who seem to like to talk back quite a bit to uh, Coach Gruden. I don't know. I don't know what's going on in Oakland. But if I was a fan, I would be, I'd be a little worried. And then right after uh, Gruden was getting on Abrams about knocking into guys, I think Perfect was doing the same thing. All right, so last box of Immaculate. And then we'll jump into some baseball. Let's make something happen here at the end. Let's see. What can we do? What can we do? All right, starter out with a Russell Wilson going over the Seahawks. That one's out of 99. And Lee Man. <laughs> Not the Seahawks hit you were hoping for, but, uh, you know, it's something, I guess. All right, then we've got an Irv Smith Jr. with a really nice Sugar Bowl patch. That's a big old patch. Five out of five going over to the Vikings, correct? Yes, yes, yes. Vikes for Irv. Yep, that's old Minnesota. So uh, let's see who's got the Vikings. So that's Outlaw JJ. <laughs> he, do, he doesn't smoke weed. That's okay. Hey, Charles, I don't think, at, at his age, I don't think he should be. Now, it's debatable whether you want to, you know, condone that over alcohol at a, at, a, at a later age. I've thought about that a lot because alcohol is bad, dude. Gosh, when you're young and making bad decisions, I think I'd rather my kid eat Cheetos and play video games nonstop. 12 out of 99, Nasir Adderley. So this is uh, the Los Angeles Chargers. So over to the Chargers, and let's see, that's A.J. Diaz. How about some more football breaks? Well, I'm working with, that would be awesome. I agree with that, Iceman, but I, I, I'm dealing, I'm, I'm basically going off of whatever Brian leaves for me here. So uh, if I had, and, and I'll get to that point where it's like, oh, you're in the mood for football? All right, well, let me see what we got, but I'm not, I'm not quite there yet. So... Here's a uh, rookie patch auto, card number 140, Dylan Mitchell. So a redemption for Dylan Mitchell, and that is going over the Vikings. So that's, uh, what did we say? Outlaw JJ with the redemption. And then got Anthony Johnson. And that's going over the Buccaneers. So that's Charlie one two 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 seven two. We got the Chiefs Cincinnati game on here. I haven't seen any of it, but it's twenty four ten. I knew the over under on Pat Mahomes playing the first quarter. I don't know if he played the full first quarter, but that's what they said they were going to do. Um, was two touchdowns or one and a half touchdowns? Maybe I don't know. But all right, so here not bad way to finish it out. Ninety eight out of ninety nine. Three color patch, Drew Locke, rookie auto, going over to the Broncos. So who's got the Broncos? Got to be up top somewhere there. There's Double Cow 55. Tweet all state that, please. Yes, okay. Uh, with the VIP hits, I'm not sure what he's got planned, but I know that like this this break had national guarantees. Um, I know 
uh, Ultimate Eight Baseball is going to have some some like guarantees with it. He just said, you know, hey, I'm going to I'll take care of him. Jumping in some baseball tonight, so usually he does. You know, he does a great job of, of taking care of taking care of everybody. So uh, we'll see. But I'll go ahead and save this one up, and uh, we'll get some Ultimate Eight Baseball out. I believe or Majestic has either one of them sold. So. Uh, Yeah, we'll do one through seven. So we'll do one through seven ultimate eight baseball, and then uh, we'll let uh, we'll let it linger. We got to get majestic knocked out. We got to get uh, ultimate eight baseball box number eight knocked out. But we'll do one through seven here. So I'll go print off those rosters, grab those boxes. So I'll get you guys some music here. Let me uh, save this up. <laughs> 